Thank you sincerely, uh, International Partners, for uh, taking us along. Even though there was no DG, at least some of the uh, programs that are being held, we are being remembered and carried along. I want to thank people very much for that. When it comes to HIV, um, six months we come back again and have a review. Where are we? And things like that. I think I'll just keep it at that. But WHO is on ground to fully support the process and resuscitate the system back to where it used to be. Thank For AQs, that's excellence, community, education, welfare scheme. So you see, the CEO is Dr. Andy Ayo. We have many projects, more than five. But the one we are working on now, this one, is called AQs is Five Project. You see, yes, I defunded. TB HIV. The people who are doing TB is the KNCV. Who is TB HIV? That's co-infected people with TB. But we do very close collaboration with. Uh, KMCV. Well, Cross Valley is supposed to have about 11 clinical, state clinical mentors to complement, you know, this the work in the state. So I uh, want to advocate. They need your support for them to succeed. They need all your support and the state so that they can be able to effectively uh, you know, put healthcare delivery to the grassroots. So with your support, I think they will they will succeed in whatever they are achieve. The CRN is an indigenous NGO that have been in the country as far back as uh, 2010, and we've been working with different um, states in the country, up to about 14 states, but we came to Cross River States in, in December 2019. So we were in 15 LG for a long time because the USID PEFA treatment partners were not in three LGs, that's um, Obandiku, Bekwara, and um, no, A2, they, didn't, they, they don't have the facility there. But last year, we now graduated and started working in the 18 LGS when the USID moved into Obaniku and uh, Bekwara. So we are, our main work is, uh, our focus is on uh, infant and uh, children 0 to 17 years that are infected or affected by HIV and of course and their household. So our target for now is about 54,000 scattered around the LGS. And we don't, uh, we, we don't implement it alone. We have uh, the community partners. That's the CSOs. We have five of them. Three in the Cross River South, one in Central, and uh, one covering the northern parts of the states. HF was founded in 1987 with our international headquarters at Los Angeles in California. We are in 45 countries. Recently we had a milestone of greater than 2 million clients in care worldwide. Our African office the head office is in Uganda. So that's where we have our regional headquarters for AHF. That's the African Bureau. Now, part of our main trust in our work is advocacy. Now, when you see drugs coming out and being made um, cheaply for developing countries, AHF has a hand in that. We are able to stand and uh, fight Gilead. Before pre-exposure prophylaxis came out cheaply. Now we can do pre-exposure prophylaxis everywhere. We are aware of that. Okay? So part of our program is advocacy. We also give grants. We gave a grant to Unical recently for their Sports for Life project that just ended. I'm sure the government is aware of that. Um, we also do health system strengthening, quality improvement for healthcare systems, the YPP project for youths in the state, TBHIV, 
HTS prevention, PMTCT, lab services, pharmacy, and the works. So just to round up, we are in the States for the long run. Uh, UNFPA is the United Nations Sexual Reproductive Health Agency. And uh, our mission is ensuring a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person achieve his or her potential. And uh, part of our mandate, essentially working around young people, uh, achieving their potential also centers around HIV AIDS and for HIV AIDS we are more interested in prevention aspects. We want to prevent HIV for our, our young persons so they don't come down with HIV and the one thing I want to also bring out too, we've been doing a lot of treatments and it seems like we're shifting the goal from also we're, we're, we're not looking at the prevention parts of the HIV response. And UNFP is also supporting in areas of condom programming. DJ, as you're coming on board too, I want to see how we can also strengthen even the state's uh, domestic resource mobilization for us to have some of these commodities available. So we don't depend solely on uh, partners and donors. My name is Cecilio from the state coordinator of the network of people living with HIV and AIDS in Nigeria. As the recipients of care, Nepuan has its headquarters at Abuja with our national coordinator, Madam Ab Ibrahim Abdul Kadir, and we have offices across the 36 states plus FCT. For Cross River State, I am the coordinator of 77 support groups cutting across the 18 local governments with a population of about 6,000. When I say 6,000, it's not people who are HIV positive. All the partners, like the lead partners, they are there for us for the treatment. They are there for us. We have even CCCRN particularly work with children. And I was so delighted with their projects because all along, even in our support groups, we used to have adult PLHIV support groups. And I don't feel comfortable when children are there. Eight is still real. Number two is that eight is not written on the face. So, uh, advising those who are very socially active to be careful to make sure that they are protected when they are having sex. Number three is that the, the patronage of, uh, of TBAs, no? of TBAs, especially traditional bed attendants, where they are not sure that the, the sterility in the equipment they use, nobody should patronize those kind of people. And then they should also think, know that the religion plays a very major role in the spread of HIV. HIV is an evil, it's an evil, evil spirit. So once you catch it, you have to go to church for them to pray for you. You know, but they, they don't realize that this thing is not, it's not spiritual. Understand? It's not spiritual. It's just habits.